Oh, day three. Welcome back to Draugun. Draugun. Time to get up. Ready? Wearing the same clothes again. I don't know why I bother bringing out this stuff. That would seem to change. Huh? Still look old. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm convinced. I'm convinced of it now. Where are you, Lissy? Upstairs. Teddy, is that you? Yep. Lissy! Right up the stairs, Teddy. Why are you this in... This is her room. Yeah, hmm? Are you paying attention? Ruth. Yeah, I had a lot of Can you imagine? Night. One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then... Nothing. Darkness. Forever and ever. Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. I'll help you look. So you're unfinished business, isn't it? You came here. You uh, found that the child was missing or dead, whatever way you want to put it. You went looking. Oh, I can look at the pictures now. You went looking. And you were killed, weren't you, Betty? Yeah. Sweet Betty. Ruth was an artist. This is very primitive. Have you ever met a child, Edward? She wasn't Monet, she was eight. This must be the village church. That's Ruth and her family on one side of the aisle. Mm -hmm. Simon and his father on the other. Correct. The community divided. Mm -hmm. Can you see the backs of everybody else? Oh, the I can look at the book as well. Picture Draugen. Book. Hey, Draugen. the undead monster from those folk tales you read. What an odd book for a child to have. I don't know. Children love scary stories. This looks interesting. Read some of it to me, please. Okay. In Norwegian folklore, the appearance of Draugen. The Draugen. reanimated corpse of a drowned mariner oh. heralds death. Draugen haunts the Black Seas in a shattered boat. The beast has a man's body and wears a sou'wester. But instead of a head, there is tangled seaweed. And the revenant's chilling cry freezes mortal blood to ice. Draugen has the power to enter the dreams of the living. If you wake from such a dream, you have been spared, though someone close to you. Wow. That's enough of that. It's nonsense, of course. Not something a child should be reading. Do you think Draugen took our boat? Maybe he's out there, on the fjord, waiting for nightfall so he can return to shore. And... No. 
Your soul lacks poetry, Edward Charles Harden. I pity you. <laughs> she found something. Mm. Where's that supposed to be? A mine. A cave. Or the... Mine. It could be. But what did she find? Kind of something like important enough to draw. Or a ring. Hmm. That must be Ruth and Simon's fathers. Perhaps. They weren't on the best of terms. They look like they want to kill each other. To a child, maybe it looked worse than it was. Children are more insightful than you give them credit for, Teddy Bear. Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice that one on the floor. Rats. Why, why would you have a picture of rats over a child's bed? Oh. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F O R B. For Banelson. The curse. Who's hmm. that figure supposed to be? It's creepy. It looks a bit like the dragon in her book. A figment of her imagination. But the box she drew. It looks like this box on oh. her desk. Really? I didn't even see that either. Let me see. Pull it out. So that's why you don't do anything for me. Because you can't. You can't even open that. You're a ghost, Betty. <laughs> what is this? I believe this might qualify as actual treasure. Mm. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. And the brooch. Are they valuable? Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. They belong in a museum. museum. Looks like Ruth had her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's... <laughs> she was a child, Edward. To her, they were just shiny toys. Wait! The pin! On the doll! This is where it came from. Her collection. But where did she find these treasures? If we're to believe her drawing, mm. perhaps the mine. She may have found a gravesite. Oh. Wherever she found oh. them, she wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone found out? These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how... I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. Hmm. You think so? There's a story here. The treasure box, the drawings. The overactive mind of an imaginative child. Well, she didn't imagine the Viking artifacts. You shouldn't be so dismissive. The drawings could be her way of dealing with traumatic events. This is what happens when I read you the principles of psychology. You get notions. You say that like it's a bad thing. Ruth was troubled. The village was troubled. And is that a bell? Church bell. Yeah. Someone's here. Maybe Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's in trouble. Can we see the church bell? I need to get to the church right now. Wait, isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? We should be I careful. I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get there. I need a minute to think about... about all of this. We can't see anything. Are you sure you're not going to come with me? Are you coming? In a minute. 
You go on ahead. Okay. Wait a minute, I didn't see that seat pulled out before either. Oh, okay. Hopefully it won't take too long to draw. There he is drawing peacefully. Oh, we can still hear the bell, that's cool. Stops, I suppose. You can always come back and explore, hopefully. seeing where the bell tower was. Is it inside or is it outside? Keep ringing. Don't stop. He's not exhausted when he gets there and gets attacked. It's not open. The bell's on the inside. Whoa. Will you stop you sneaking up on me like that? Maybe. No. Maybe. I'd know. But, uh, no one's touched these since yesterday. Regardless of how they got past the wards, there's someone in there. Who did this? Someone who'd lost their faith. Gone fishing? God is not here. Well, of course he isn't. You won't find God in a church. God is the wind in the trees, the grass between your toes, the brook that runs That's through. That's nature, not God. Can you peek through the boards? I can, but it's all out of focus. Oh, I don't See believe anyone? it. No, I... Listen, the bell. They're still in there. The wind. What's going on? Hello? I heard the bell. This is giving I'm me here to help. Jeebies. These boards look flimsy enough to break. Break them. How are they attached? Look at that. The ethel becomes an Edward. I didn't think you had it in you, old fruit. Be quiet. Coming in. Betty? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. You. Yeah. You're a ghost, aren't you, Alice? 
What's this rope for? The bell. This is the bell we heard ringing? I don't see any other bells. So you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it? Yes. But there was no one here. You didn't see anyone, right? No. No one. Ghosts. I'm telling you. It's ghosts! You're so here. what happened to the hunchback of Grovik? They must be here still. There's only the one exit. Maybe it was the wind. A church bell's too heavy. It can't have been the wind. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was the wind. Lissy. Look. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, she Pete's got these sake. in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she... She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Breadcrumbs. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. Her scarf. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're oh, not in the red lab. Thread. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. Don't get upset. What is it? What's wrong with you? That bell still bothers me. Didn't you say it was the wind? I guess it could have been the wind. Once you eliminate the impossible, etc., etc. What happened here? The sign on the door. God is not here. Their faith was challenged. And it didn't survive. The final dinner. The last the final supper. dinner. <laughs> Who taught you about the New Testament? I pick up on things. Most folks aren't heathens, like you. You seem to be one. <laughs> oh, my the friend. church book. <laughs> a record of births and deaths. Death. Oh. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... Her name would be in the book. Vandals. Tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. Hmm. Why don't you pick them up from me? Huh? Because you can't. I haven't got ectoplasm enough. <laughs> How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. Isn't this a fire hazard? Yeah. They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. Miss. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation and anger. Well, we got a win. I wanted you to find that one. <laughs> I know what a rotten loser you are. <laughs> what are you doing? We're in a church. I thought you didn't believe in God. I do believe in civility. <laughs> I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. Hmm. You still manage to surprise me sometimes. Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus have to be happy? Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a Whoa. contradiction. Heretic. 
He's after saying it's a historical document, and then he poo poos it. <laughs> you get it. It's right here. Oh, we got another one here as well. You found another one? Don't forget about this page. I'll be over in a minute. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher, and the language. Um, mm. Mutters to himself. He talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, move on. Something to the effect of you sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. Tilly Verandra. Edward? Forgive each other. It addresses Johann and Frederick directly. Mm. But I wonder if they were even here. Remember the wedding picture? They were close friends once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors, but the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. Hmm. It sounds like Grovik was split in two. Between those who stood by Johan and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermon is from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth Strong mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed. And that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed. And that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. I must have hit it twice. Pick up. Two for two. A tie. Good job, Teddy. Stop, old bean. Stop, Lissy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Oh, of the horse feathers. Stop being so Good gosh movie. darn tedious, Edward. <laughs> Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? Put those pages back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up. Is there anything the far side we didn't see? This book goes back years. No way. Imagine Lists, that. Births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in the cave-in. Someone added the word for Banelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Oh, wow. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Ward? Murder. Yeah. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't mm -hmm. say. 
after the children. A half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. It's like a different superstition. Again. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. That might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a dark... Traitor and something else. Traitor. Oh, it's the same, yeah, traitor. Hmm. Hmm. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice, what if... Oh. Edward, no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know. Teddy. I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. Betty's still alive. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. That's. Oh my goodness, the shivers are running through me like nuts. Oh, there has to be the fresh ones. Wouldn't I have noticed? <gasps> the last one, the one with the shovel in it. It's. Digging up your grave, Please. Betty. Edward, stop it. <gasps> Thank God. It's not her. It's not Betty. It's it's not her. Oh, Edward. What have you done? I... It's not Elizabeth. I... I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty... Watch your profanity. When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister like or that. Or what? Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just leave me be. Fine. <sighs> See? Yes. I got something Alice? right. I got something right. Come back. Don't leave me alone. Please. Come back. I, I need you. Wow, I can't believe I actually got something right. That's new for me. <laughs>
should have got her. Lissy? Where are you? Lissy? Alice? Alice, please. Come back to me. Where are you? What's this, Otto? I was afraid you'd left me. Now listen to me. No! No. <sighs> Don't leave me. Lissy? Where are you? Lissy? There she is. Alice? <sighs> Lissy. Hey. Lissy, please listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I, I... Of course you meant it. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Wait, what? Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. Is it his mother? What? I, now I'm more confused. It's not Betty? Alice, please. Come back to me. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet, your little plaything? Watch your profanity. You, Edward Charles Harden. I never should have come here with you on this pointless chase. Now, be reasonable. Alice. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. What are you doing? <gasps> what I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate us. Us? Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! <sighs> father would be ashamed Elizabeth would be ashamed they did not think you deserved their love so they abandoned you Don't. oh my child we are all that you have and we love you we are here with us you are never alone do not forget. No, I... 
Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Hmm. Alrighty then. Everything changes. <laughs>